So this is going to be a short tutorial on creating um, a very simple program in Visual Studio. So it's just an introduction to the very basics of using Visual Studio to create a Visual Basic program. The program we're going to create is uh, a console application, um, which is a specific type of program. First of all, when you come into Visual Studio, you get this screen. Now, when you create a program in Visual Studio, or when you want to create a program in Visual Studio, you have to create something called a project. A project is where Visual Studio keeps all the code and everything else associated with your program. Lots of ways of creating a project. You've got a new project here, some people use. I'm used to just using the menu options at the top, so I'll just go to File, New Project, and it comes up with this screen, and you can see there's lots of different types of projects. Select console application because uh, for this tutorial we're just going to create a very simple application which is the console. Um, down the bottom here it, uh, you're prompted to enter a name. I'm just going to call this practice 1 since so it's the first practice program. This is the name that Visual Studio is going to save our program um, under. Uh, it's not actually prompting us to say what folder, what part of our system do we want to save it in. So we do that in immediately, we create this program. So you're in the screen, console application, practice one, giving it a name, press OK and in a couple of seconds we come back with um, the screen, the code screen basically. This is the screen here, where I've just put my cursor. This is where we type our Visual Basic code for our console application. Lots of other options all over and lots of different windows but this is the only one we actually need. Um, but before we do anything else, uh, I want to save my program, although I haven't done anything, I want to make sure that Visual Studio knows where to save it, so that when I put some code in, I know where in my system to find that code later on. I'm going to click on Save All. comes up with a save prompt, the name is OK, that's the name I entered at the beginning, Practice 1. But now what you need to do is browse and make sure you select the folder where you're keeping your Visual Basic programs, your VB um, folder or VB programs folder, so you know where it is. I've actually already got my folder called Class Activity, so it's already set to it. Make sure you drill down to the folder you want, and when you're there, you just do Select. Now you know your program is going to be saved with the right name, Practice 1, and in the right folder on your system press save and that's all done for us. Let's have a look and see what's happened. So now I'm going to go to the folder where my program is supposed to be saved. There's lots of other programs in there but you can see that I've got an individual folder, so a complete folder that my program called Practice 1 is going to be kept in. And if I ever want to go back and get the code for that program, if I click on the folder and I see this icon here it looks like a strange 8 symbol on its side, which is the logo for Visual Studio. If I double click on that, that will open up Visual Studio and my program. I don't need to do that now though, because I've got my program in front of me. Let's do a very simple basic, I'm just going to write one line to the screen. Um, I'll explain what this code is in a later tutorial, but this is just to write a simple message onto the console screen, if I could spell it correctly. Hello world! And there's one other line of code I need to put in, which is I need to pretend to ask the program to get input from the user. It's just really to make sure that the message stays on screen until I uh, have read it. So two lines of code, that's my program. If you look at the top you have this play button. Uh, what it does, it starts debugging the program. We'll cover what debugging means later, but really it just plays our code. So our two lines of code hopefully will run. Let's click on play. And what we get is this screen with black background, white text. This is a console screen. Um, this is simply what it is. That's the most basic screen you can get. And what we can see is that my console.write line line of programming has just written the words hello world and this flicking cursor here blinking cursor is the result of this statement here console.readline which basically says read something from the console so it's waiting for me to put something in it. The minute I put something in 
doesn't matter what I put in and press enter the program will end because there's no other statements and that's it so now go off and try this yourself creating um, open up Visual Studio create a basic uh, console application called practice one save it and see what folder it's in